I'm curious what he took issue with. Like, is it insecurity? No. And I'm wondering if you have dealt with a similar I mean, thing with... Not every man definitely wants to see the person they love getting pounded on TV. Other people yeah. don't care. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's something that if you are seeking, like if you are in the industry and you want to go and get into a relationship with a civilian, that is something that should be discussed and yeah. learn your boundaries for right. each other. Like maybe it's no kissing, maybe it, don't call them this or that, whatever mm -hmm. the boundary may be. It's up sure. to the two people to respect each other's boundaries. And if it's something you can't do, then you know that obviously that yeah. relationship just isn't for you. I just ask, I could be generalizing, and I don't know, Brian, if you come across this on the show often, but I feel like a guy who is secure enough in himself and in you and your choices and your power and what you want to do, why would you have an issue with that? I love what you said about communicating what? and transparent and each other's boundaries. <laughs> exactly. If it's made in the woman's choice and her power and she's well-knowing and full-knowing, like, hey, this is what I do for a living, this is what I want to do, then it's like roll with or roll out. Like they should respect well, so that. I, what, is, what does insecurity mean from your perspective? Well, if a guy, well, you guys are saying if they're watching you, you know, get smashed, as you said, <laughs> I assume that would make them feel insecure, right? Or yeah, maybe wait, just why, uncomfortable wait, why does sometimes. Have to make him, yeah. Because yeah. why else? Could, well, well, Couldn't that just it. be gross? I don't think it necessarily means they're insecure. It could make people uncomfortable, you know? Yeah, but like, also in the industry. I guess what I'm getting at, let's get to the root of why, though. That's what I'm saying. But I, is, it, yeah, is it stigmatized because it's like, quote, gross? It's like, can I, well, why, why, what do you mean? Hold I can on. Explain Remove the air quotes on gross, by the way, but go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, it's not a stigmatization. Point it. It's not a stigmatization. From your purview, you believe evolution is true? Of course. Yeah, so if you believe evolution is true, before we had DNA testing, how would you determine whether or not a child was yours from a male's perspective? How would you be able to determine that? Hang on. Don't like obfuscate. Don't obfuscate. About. Let's stay, hang on. Let's stick, <laughs> this, let's stick with this. Okay. I'm trying to answer. How would a man determine paternity before there was DNA testing? How, how could he do that? How could he determine that's my child? Answer, answer the question. The question. Before DNA testing? Yeah. Well, how do you think a man would be able to best determine whether a child was his or not? Their partners, how the child how looked. Yes. Yeah. So if they were in a relationship where the woman was only sleeping with him, and that could be determined she was only sleeping with him, that would assure paternity, right? Sure. But yeah. if we're talking evolution, mm -hmm. men biologically, even now to this day, why men are so visual, so physical, have that impulse to survive, spread their seed, basically bone everybody, right? Where women tend to be the nurturers. There's a different role that now we're trying to navigate that, like those Neanderthal tendencies in a modern world. It could go the other way, right? No. Mm -hmm. Assume for a moment that you're correct. And it's, that every man on I've planet Earth this. wants to hump as many women as they possibly can. Let's assume it for the sake of argument that yes. they do, okay? That still would have nothing to do with wanting the women that they're sleeping with to sleep with other men. And the reason for this is because of the assurance of paternity. Women can take the DNA from multiple men, but there's no assuredness that that then is going to be your child. That's the problem. And so the reason it's ingrained in men to find it revolting when their significant other is sleeping with another person besides them at any point, at least this is most men, is because that's ingrained in us because of that paternal But you're missing my point. You said it's revolting for men, right? It's mm -hmm. a societal standard because of this. It's no. like when a woman sleeps around, she's that's a slut. So, when that's a guy, sociological. A second, I'm saying please. it's biological. Wait, wait, hang on. When a man sleeps around, he's a stud. So mm -hmm. by that logic, you say repulse, revolt. It should be yeah, the other way around, right? Women are no, revolted of men sleeping around. around. It's like, I'm just saying. Yeah, it, but it wouldn't be the other way around. Right, you're proving my point. No, I'm not. You're talking okay. about a sociological versus a biological phenomenon. But they I'm, meet. I'm kind of trying to explain it to okay. you. The sociology is meeting with the biology. True. But why? Well, it's meeting with the biology because men are revolted by promiscuous women. Women are not necessarily revolted by promiscuous men. Okay, so after we get this foundational principle established that men are generally revolted by promiscuous women, but women are not generally revolted by promiscuous men biologically. Yes, the sociological phenomenon which spiral out of that, that's true, but the, the basis of it is the biological phenomenon. 
I think we're kind of saying the same thing. Can I interject really quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a sex worker Mm -hmm. and I was a sex worker that involved sleeping with men and Liza was, we were in a relationship for a period during that time. Was it like, you talking about prostitution? Not exactly. And I did do OnlyFans, so I can relate to some of these ladies. I wasn't on professional sets, but... Were you escorted? In a way, I just, I don't really, I don't know if I want to say it on the right now, but but my point is that... One donated $200. (laughs) Seeing my girl getting pounded out by a bunch of dudes is a hard no for me, dog. Most dudes do not want to wife a girl who sleeps around even if it's for work purposes. Let Andrew cook. So what I'm talking about now is, I think, a really unique perspective as a lesbian with a woman partner. She loved me through the whole thing. She she supported me, and there was an insecurity there because of the fact that Liza knows that she's... We used to always joke about it the last 12 years. Like, she wins. Like, anyone I've ever dated, they always are insecure around her because they know she's who I love. When you look back on a life of shattered relationships, it was your degenerate behavior that lead to you being alone and the neighborhood cat lady. (laughs) <laughs> but uh, I, so, so Andrew's talking about paternity uncertainty, but given the nature of your relationship, right. since you're both lesbians, right. there's no scenario where she could exactly. doubt the paternity if you two were to have, ch- I mean, you'd have to adopt or there would yeah. have to be some sort of, you'd have to have a, do- a donor. Right. So it's not, I mean, you're welcome to chime in, but I don't think this is actually addressing yeah. Andrew's it's an, argument. It's, I think it's Can addressing the insecurity portion. I was yeah. just saying my partner okay. didn't feel insecure yeah. about me doing those things. In fact, she felt supported right. because that money helped her dreams. Come Wouldn't that be the right. opposite? Well, can I just insecurity? say one thing? That's what because when I was thinking, would men partic- potentially feel is lacking a security? And with that, uh, honestly, we don't have that because there's no worry of a child. So I'm just saying, I see how a man could feel that way, mm-hmm. and that we didn't experience that. Well, let's back up a little bit. When you're talking about insecurity versus security, because I hear right. these, these terms thrown around a lot. Right. right? That's what I, I want to get to the. Root I think of. we perceive them very differently. Yeah. Do you think that it's harder or easier to gaslight somebody who's secure? Harder. Right. Way harder, right? Yeah, of course. Way harder. Yeah, way harder. So if you were to go to a man who is really secure and say, baby, I want to hump other men, mm-hmm. would it be harder to convince him? Probably. Probably, right? So it's yeah, not that he's insecure. It's that he's so secure right. that your gaslighting won't work. Yeah. Uh, no, 100%. Right? Isn't that what's really going on? Yeah. You're trying to say, he's so insecure that he won't accept this relationship standard. No, I say, and according to their logic, they would agree, he's so secure he won't accept your gaslighting. And I no, also think... I'm, I'm, to get back to what I was originally talking about with you guys, is in trying to have their backs, right? Is and you're kind of proving my point. You have this like Madonna whore complex thing that sadly is like permeated through society. I don't society. even know what that means. What well, does I'll that explain mean? it. That's okay. I'll explain it to you. Okay. But I feel like when men are so secure, now granted, porn, sex work, that is an extreme thing. I'm not saying everybody, it's a personal thing. I'm saying if somebody knows you, knows your choices, respects you, respects your work, and they're secure enough to go, you know what? I know you shut that part off. I we're clear, we're transparent here. You know we have these boundaries. I respect you, and you know nothing can get between us. Like it's me and you, and this is your work, and that's separate. I think that's cool, and that's rare, and it's just what you guys are saying. Sadly, I think just illustrates the boxes our society, whether it be culturally, biologic, whatever it is, has put us in now. That's all I was trying to say, if that makes sense yeah. to you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how that negates what I said at all. Well, because you said a secure guy yeah. is gaslit. I'm saying a yeah. real secure guy who knows the situation they're getting into, knows what you guys have, it's impossible knows for nothing them to know. can... can you know, dismantle that. How could they know? Or get in between that. I think, that, I think that's secure. How could I think they know what they're he signing knows up what for. you guys have. I'm not a sex worker. I'm how could saying. you have the expectation that a civilian would know what they're signing up for? Well, and that's no. what I was wanted to say is they that you not. don't know it until you're in it. Yeah. You brought up that now we do have DNA testing and all of this stuff. So if you're thinking about humans still evolving right now, wouldn't that take away that natural insecurity? Or I don't have an opinion. So evolution's going to happen to an entire species gradually over millions right, of years. Right, but do you think hang that's on, happening on. now? Over millions of years. Mm-hmm. How long do you think we've had paternity testing? No, I don't know. Not very long. Well, I how mean, long do you think not very long is? I mean, probably like, yeah, so I was going to say like 40 years or something. You don't think 40 years is long enough to evolve, do you? No, not necessarily, but... No, 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 no. At, hang on. At all. At all? <laughs> then there's all... 
I don't want to get into that right now. But I mean, if you're talking about social evolution, yeah. that would not be biological evolution. No, hundred percent. I'm agreeing with you. I don't think it could happen in forty years. But no. I'm just wondering if you think Maybe that 40 in the million? future, mm -hmm. if the way that we are in the society would affect how we will biologically interact. So, so it would be possible from the evolutionist purview. Yeah. That in four, five, six, seven million years, mm -hmm. we will be able to leave that behind us. Yeah. Yes. But it's considering that now, all of recorded human history language. is about sure. 12,000 years old, I don't think that in, yeah, it's going to take a long, long, long time to leave it. But I guess nice. I want to follow that up by asking if you think it's headed that way, should we be acting towards that evolution anyway? Like, should we change how we act, interact with each I'm other? I'm not sure that it's heading that way. I'm just telling mm -hmm. you that theoretically, yeah. if you're asking, no, is it possible? Yeah. Then the answer is yes, it's possible mm -hmm. in millions of years. That doesn't mean we're evolving towards that. Yeah. In fact, it seems like we're evolving away from it. And here's mm -hmm. why. Because of reproductive dead ends. Right now, our birth rates in the West, the entire world are collapsing. Yeah. Everything is below replacement mm -hmm. all over the entirety of the West. The reason for this is because women are having children later in life. Mm -hmm. They start about 30. The average age yeah, for marriage, 30, 31. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the fertility goes way down, 100%. way, way down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women are going to end up being reproductive dead ends. If that's the case, then probably monogamy is going to make a swing back in a yeah. big way. So mm -hmm. no, I don't think we would be evolving away from it anytime soon. Yeah. And we have those preferences there, the biological preferences anyway, of right. men find it revolting to share their women. For sure. Mm -hmm. Is that, does that make you feel a type of way? Does that make you feel jealous? You're shaking your head. Yeah. Well, I'm interested oh. to see what you Yeah. Think. Well, see, because I'm so secure in what my expectations are, right, I would feel completely disrespected by that. And oh, I would feel secure enough okay. to say something like, what the fuck are you doing? You I think that I the purview of the most secure man is a man who will, who will tell a woman, that they won't accept their bad behavior, whatever that may so be. So why is flirting bad behavior? I'm just mm. debating you from my point of sure. view, right? So I have a dream relationship, because, right? Because, well, I was trying to answer um, your question. So, go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying. I, no, I'm just to, getting to the root. When you say bad behavior is flirting, it's like, mm -hmm. why is that bad behavior? Well, like, to that's me, what I was trying to answer. Okay. It's because of respect. But, okay, so... I just am going to disagree, it's and that's okay. Person, we can have healthy, you feel, exactly. You know we can I mean? have a healthy disagreement. Okay, well, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Okay. Okay. Let us assume any random man. It's a random guy. Sure. Random. That we were to teleport you into a relationship with him tomorrow. Just some random okay. man in the United States. Okay. You don't know anything about him. Would you say that if we teleported you directly into a marriage with him, and he began, or you began to flirt with other guys in front of him? that he would appreciate that or not appreciate that. So that's just a random obscure example of like taking an alien from Mars and marrying them. Yeah, it's a but... hypothetical designed to test your logic. So answer the question, please. Why are you so combative to this? I'll, I'll explain. People, okay. people often obfuscate away from points <laughs> when they're asked to test their logic. They try to get away from it. Here's my so thing. do you think that they would be more or less likely to be upset? It depends on the person. This yeah, is I know. It's saying. a random person. I, your view of what's, <laughs> what's disrespectful and all this is completely contrarian to what I think, right? Agreed. So me personally, I don't know about you ladies. And listen, I too have had my own journey with this. I'm not going to lie. I used to be You've super... You've had a journey? Whoa. I'm at... I sure I've had a journey. journey Are you right? on and your you're journey? You're on my journey right now. Lucky you. Did I meet you on your journey? Uh, I don't know. Did you met me? Um, yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, possessiveness and jealousy, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just saying for me now, mm -hmm. it is the sexiest thing when a guy is not possessive, jealous. When he's like, go ahead, guys, eat your heart out. Yeah, flirt. Yeah, whatever. Because at the end of the day, she's my girl. Wait, and that's what about on, no. And that's no. her in her power. Like, that's just me. You guys don't have to agree. And I've seen it time and time again. It's like, okay. where life is too short to like, be in this. your power and to sh to box your significant <coughs> other and be like, oh, you can't do that. You can't. Wait, hold to on. To me, it's hot when girls are like, oh, your man is hot. Does some of that, like, once possessiveness once come up? Yes. But... It's hot. It's like, yeah, be in your power, baby. At the end of the would day, it, it's me and it you. Would it be hot? So you said possessiveness. Yes. That's bad. I'm trying to kind of control you. That's bad. That's right. So if you're in a monogamous relationship and you were inclined to open up the relationship and then go have sex with another man, would that be possessive or controlling for your man to insist that you did not do that? It would have to be a mutual decision. It would have to, and I think the transparency is what's really cool. Yeah. No, it depends on the person. It totally depends on the. I could understand why, and we're not there, but I could understand why mm -hmm. a guy would be like, or a woman would be like, I don't, I'm not down with that. I don't feel comfortable. So then, with so that. then, let's back way up so I can engage exactly with what you're saying. Back to this alien transportation hypothetical. Yes. If you were 
Elon teleported Musk. directly into a marriage with some random guy. A random guy. I know it depends on the individual. Totally agree. Do you think yes. that? He, do you think that that random guy would be more likely to get jealous by you flirting or less likely? Friend. If it was just a Again, random it sample, on the guy. I know it depends on the guy. So here, I, I, I explain exactly how you can answer secure. it. Somebody and that the can... conversation is if you either are or you're not. Let's that. say this. If 70% of the men in the United States, okay, 70% of the men in the United States would get jealous by their woman flirting with somebody else, then if I ask you this question, if you're randomly teleported into a marriage with a random guy, then your chances are still going to be high. Hang on. If it's 70% of being teleported into a marriage with a guy who would be jealous, right? So you can't answer the question. I think it is I'm a yes. This comment. Because of just the, if we know the way men think or we like to think we know, we never will truly know. But then the, if that's what they're expressing, I, too, I do believe that. But I think it goes to the point that you were saying is that if you say to your wife, this makes me feel disrespected, she shouldn't do it. Yeah, of course. And vice versa. I think that I wouldn't be with Delaney if she wasn't pushing me to be a better person and calling me out of my shit. And if you're not willing to l take inventory and look at where you're wrong or illogical or too emotional, then we can't have these conversations because we're not willing to even step out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I agree with you that it is a personal thing. It's a personal thing. And maybe thing I can look at it at like a, a different angle. Is it empowerment, like you said? It's empowering for you to be able to flirt with, sure. with other people. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Is it also empowering for you to tell a man not to flirt if it makes you uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. They're both empowering. Again, hang on, hang on, it's apples answer. and oranges. Answer, just, not, not answering I'm not the question. It's not empowering. Because when you get to the root of it, right, mm -hmm. you said her flirting, whatever, it's disrespectful. What is that shaking underneath? Really, if you get to the root of it, why? It's insecurity. It's, oh, they might like this person more than, more than I think they it's like insecurity. me. Oh, they might leave me no, for No, I think it's insecurity them. the That's opposite way. It if like, you're with a secure person, a secure person has boundaries. If a secure person has right. boundaries, then actually by allowing you to do that, they're showing they're an insecure person. You're insecure putting your significant other in a box. No, Period. you're insecure demanding. You're insecure human. demanding that they go outside of their preferences. I think that's it's about insecure. Find someone who has your preferences. <laughs> yeah, don't box about, them in. Well, if you're going to find somebody who has your preferences, that goes all the way back to the conversation of: mm -hmm. Do you think you'd find somebody who's more likely to have your preferences or not? Yeah. And you still refuse to answer that question. It's less. I'm so my boyfriend. Less. My boyfriend's pretty secure, right? And there was a point where we didn't know what we were like in relationship-wise, like definition, because we started off as friends and then we were fuck buddies and then we just ended up living together. There was a point where I was flirting with some guy because I was like, I don't know if I like anyone else. And he's like, well, don't come crying to me if you find out that his dick's not as good as mine. And he just walked <laughs> away. And it scared me so much that he was probably right that I stopped talking to the person. <laughs> Didn't insecurity. No, he was, he's very secure. Go ahead. Yeah. He's uh, very secure. I don't know. You, you sound ahead, like you're insecure. So honestly. personally, I wouldn't even approach the idea of entering a relationship if someone's views on relationships differed from mine. So yeah. I feel like that's a first base conversation mm -hmm. just to casually talk about, to gauge each other's preferences, boundaries, all of it to not waste each other's time. But mm -hmm. also, I feel like me personally, all that matters to me is honesty and communication. So I don't see myself being in a monogamous type of relationship. That's just not something I want. It makes work difficult. It's not more so for work reasons, but just me. And I feel like that is something that's discussed in its boundaries sure. and obviously a relationship like that. It's reasonable. But you would have to concede that you could enter into a relationship with a person and People's they could change. have the pre-agreement. Mm -hmm. And then after they're like, wait a second, this actually feels yep. different or I can't handle it. You couldn't really get mad at them for that, no. right? By her definition, how she just gave what she, what she thinks security and insecurity is, she would think that that was being insecure. Yeah? I feel like somebody, what you're saying, matching mm -hmm. your thing. No, no, no. She gets with somebody who does match it. Okay. But then after six months, he goes, look, this feels way different than I thought it That's would. That's fine. Right? The, of course. Is he being insecure? No. It's about... Not necessarily. He's no. being secure. Well, well hang no. on, hang on. Let her answer. Let her answer. No, not necessarily. What does that mean, not necessarily? Well, it is, depends on the situation. Well, I just gave you the situation. <laughs> That's the situation. I think situation. it's a consent thing, thing more consent than anything. Thing. That's... If, you can change yeah. your consent yeah. at any time. If he's like, like yeah. look, this is... It's too much, which I'm sure you know you probably, you've probably dealt with, then it's too much. But is that man being secure? Yeah, by yeah. staying true to these values and saying, listen, 
this feels way different than I thought it would. I don't like it. Again, I mean, Andrew, I think it's at the root of why they don't like it. That's why is I'm it getting at the root. That's, and it could be a little so bit. So it is it insecurity. Could be, it could be a little bit of both. It could be insecure like, in how see, but I this feel. Is, this and it could be insecure in like When you keep saying, let's get to the I root, listed. that's where we're at. I'm getting right at this root. Because I just said it's a mix of the two. Like, if it's a mix, then it is. <laughs> Boundaries <laughs> and insecurity are almost like so if I interchangeable took, words in that scenario. Okay, so if I took silver and I took gold and I melted them together, they would still be silver, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So if there's insecurity plus blank, there's still insecurity. So mm -hmm. you saying it's a mix of insecurity plus something else means you still think it's insecure. Right. Yeah. So, I said that. so then I said it's you amazing. think it's insecure for a man to halfway, you no, know, I said in, six months into he, a relationship, not want to date a porn star. I said getting to the root of it, if one of the reasons he's like, this is too much, it's overwhelming. I said, if one of the reasons deep down, he may not even admit it to themselves, it could be partially an insecurity. It could be upbringing. It could be a number of things. But you but in and this your, scenario, your Mr. Alien yeah, man yeah, from so, Elon Musk's space, so in, I don't even know. So like, in this scenario, though, he just says, listen, it feels different than how I thought it would feel. Sure. Okay. Is, that, I, is that him being secure or insecure? Secure. Secure. And then secure. I think secure that when you're... Is walking away. As but, women, but you don't we can think show so still, our right? security <laughs> by if someone says that they don't want that then you're so <laughs> secure in yourself that it's okay and you can let them go. Yeah. To me, like, that's my yeah. opinion. If you can set a boundary, that means you're secure in yourself. But Agreed. the thing is, you guys are just talking exactly. about you have two different boundaries. Your future male partner has completely different boundaries than Andrew's boundaries, but him setting a boundary with his wife and you setting a boundary with your yeah, future I'm not sure. Oh. Even I'm if not they're sure totally that different what, boundaries. I'm not sure that that's what we're disputing. I agree that I have... <laughs> Grid One Motorsports donated yeah, two hundred dollars. Appreciate it, man. Good to see you. Q yeah, for the is. panel: Are you feminist or do you embrace the patriarchy? Thank you, Grid oh. One. So, let's actually do Grid One's I love question. That it's either or. We can come back to this a bit. Sure. I still, we still need to get everybody's relationship yes. status. So, <laughs> yes. just going around the table: Are you feminist? Yes or no? I feel there's parts of feminism I agree with, and there's other parts like I don't feel like like with preferences in relationships, right? I don't think every woman wants to be the trad wife homemaker. Mm -hmm. Some women mm -hmm. like being independent and that's okay. So just real quick and we'll get back to this, but we just want to get the quick answer for the panel. Feminists? Yes. No. Just then. one thing guys, okay. so when we're going around the table, <laughs> don't be like, I agree. Even gotcha. if you agree, just gotcha. state your actual position. Okay. I mean, I just agree with parts of it and not the whole thing. I guess I can't say I am then if I disagree with something. I am a feminist. Okay. Yes, but not in the woke way. I'm also feminist, mostly. All right. Are you guys? The Brian and Andrew? Andrew? I'm not a feminist, no. Are you? I'm a mis misandrist. That would make you a... Man-hater. Man-hater. Okay, <laughs> right. I'm a misandrist. He's right. a misandrist. <laughs> now, you, really quick, just going back to your answer, you were yeah. saying how, well, but you don't believe in the trad wife thing. Wouldn't well, that precisely be a feminist? Or do you think feminists are in favor of trad no, that, wives? No, that's why... No, feminists are in favor of, you know, female power. Okay. But I lean somewhere in the middle. I'm... I am a happy medium between I love being a homemaker for my home, but I also like being an independent woman who's in control of myself and my career and everything. Real quick. Yes. When we say feminism, what do you think that means in like a really short, concise answer? Pushing for female equality in work, home, all aspects of life, reproductive okay. rights. Just what rights do we not have? Let him answer. Let him answer. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. What were you going to say? And then over here? I think it is more about equality. I think, to me, it's more of how we live and treat each other than wanting women to be on top, necessarily. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that, I know I'm not supposed to talk about racism, but I think they are intertwined, and okay. I think you can't have one without So, them. like, egalitarianism? Yeah, okay. essentially. Mm -hmm. Like what I think feminism is. Yeah, well, just what it means to you. I guess, yeah, like equal rights. Okay. Or, I mean, I'm not sure. But I feel like what you just said, like treating everyone with the same respect mm -hmm. kind of vibe, that's like equality for everyone, mm -hmm. you know? So I can't, like, if that's it, then I don't know if that's really feminism in my mind. So what is it to you? I would describe feminism as just supporting women to 
being their fullest potential of what they want to be. So if you want to be a trad wife, I support you 100% mm-hmm. as a feminist and yeah. being a trad wife. If you don't want to be one, I also support you 100%. Egalitarianism I've had, between yeah, men I've and women. I've had wildly different things back and forth, and I'm glad I've experienced them all, and I don't think I'm less or more of a woman compared to other women because of my life experience. Obviously, it feeds into equality because if we're supporting women being their highest, best self, then there are certain parts of society that are not equal, so it makes it a little harder for us to get there. In a concise way, I would say the economic, cultural, social equality of the sexes. Okay. I love being a woman. My the whole brand and what I'm about is empowering women. And this is why I say I'm not buying into the woke version of feminism because I think the whole patriarchy thing okay, has gone I gotta, way too I, far. I'm sorry, I have to stop you. Why are you? What is but your you, bone to pick? You keep saying woman instead of women. I think it's just a weird thing I do. I know that I noticed that. But why, thank you, you for pointing you, that why, out. Why do you do that? Why are you pointing it out? Well, we're, because we're having such a rich conversation. Because, because I feel like you came to be a little shit. Because starter. because there, I know one like, when I see one. There's buddy. like twenty. There's like twenty different women who have been through in just the last two weeks who say woman instead of women, and honestly, I'm just really fucking confused why they do. But anyway, back to your we'll definition. We'll talk about it later. Back I'm glad we sorted that out, though. Yeah. I'm glad we, because that was go ahead. bothering me. Well, it was bothering me, and I'm the important yeah. one here. But anyway, That's go ahead. Back to where you all, were. Yes. <laughs> Salute to Sir Andrew, everybody. No? I like you, but not that much. Oh, okay. Well, back <laughs> Maybe to your, by the end. Back to your the definition. The night is young. Yeah. If we can see eye to eye. I don't like you. Well, we'll never, who, never who is see that? eye to eye. I'm a man. I'm taller. That's, <laughs> so we got to get you a stool. We can on a little tippy toe. Back to your I, definition. I'm smaller, but I, I, I pack a bigor punch than you. Did you back to my definition. That's right. Any punch I'm men? Five, five. No, packing a punch. Erroneous. <laughs> you gotta know, Mr. Dater. Mr. Debater. Um, Dater to you. Um, yeah, that's right. Call him Master Debater. And give me the master damn salute. <laughs> yes, I think the whole, you know, I'm sure this is one thing that we could probably see eye to eye on is that the whole b- blaming men, villainizing men for everything, demonizing them, they're the worst. Oh, oh, they're the problem for. I love men. Like, I love strong men. Let's go. The whole smash the patriarchy thing in my mind has just gone way too far. So you're in favor okay. of the patriarchy? Yes. Me saying smash up the thing is... Go- no. So you're neutral on the patriarchy. I acknowledge that the patriarchy has been a system set in place for years and years and years, and we're still dismantling it now. However, I don't dwell on that. I focus on we fucking have kicked ass. We have more way to go, but let's focus on what's ahead and keep, you know... Wait, that's so right. you do want to dismantle the patriarchy, though? Sure. Well, hold on. I just think how we're is dwelling that not on any, it is dwelling you, in the past. But you said you object to smashing the patriarchy. How's that any different than dismantling the patriarchy? No, no, no. They're the same thing. You just don't no. like the word smash? or I mean, against I like the it. whole smash, smash burger. No. Yeah, so you said you're against the whole smash the patriarchy thing, but you're also no. in favor of dismantling the patriarchy. Can you just actually engage instead of like having a meta conversation? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm doing right now. But, okay, you're in favor of the dismantling said, of the patriarchy. How is that not just No, I get how that seems contradictory for sure. Is it not contradictory? No, it is. I said I am against dwelling on the fact that people are obsessed with the patriarchy has us under our thumb and men are the reason for everything and the male gaze and this, this, and this. Like I said, I acknowledge they're the systems that have been put in place. It's not totally equal yet. However, why focus on that when we can focus on how far we've come, what women can do now that we couldn't even mark, you know, make a dent in however many years ago and move forward. Like sitting in the past doesn't serve us. That's what I mean by that. And I feel like that's anyone with common sense would get that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, uh, I would, I think there's multiple ways why people define feminism, but the way I've always been told is like feminism to me is like women equality and like supporting women in their decisions. Okay. All right. First wave was the right to vote. I don't think, well, okay. That's what the 19th amendment is to women voting. I don't think women should have the right to vote, but you know. Hot take. Yeah. The views yeah. are we're too emotional. Mm-hmm. And are men not, not emotional happen? too? Oh, because we have this overwhelming right. majority of females just oh, oh feelings. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So. The views expressed Emot- by the panelists do not necessarily you know reflect speech, the girl. views of the whatever exactly. channel. Uh, exactly. Emotion oh, yeah. is a biological thing. Killer of like cereal everyone. donated two hundred dollars. 
Yeah, Can you answer this about feminism? What has the idea slash movement slash monarchy done for society in a positive way? Also, define patriarchy and misandrist for me. He's a brave Yo, Killa. man. He's a pioneer. Thank you, Killa. Good to see you. Did we get, I think we got the answers from everybody. We'll mm. go into Killa's. So <laughs> could you answer this about feminism? What has the idea movement done for, for society in a positive way? Short answers, please. Feminism got us Roe v. Wade, which now that's gone. What that's about you? I think it just has brought me a lot more security in who I am as a woman. Honestly, if we're just thinking about that, I feel much more connected. All right, we'll get around the table on the first oh, question, then we'll go boy. to this. Okay, what about you? Well, I just think that's part of the problem is I don't think I should be granted anything by a man. I do think <laughs> there are natural rights as a human that we all have or should have and that we do. But again, feminism to me is about more community. It's about bringing up the matriarchy, but I don't think it has to be one or the other. I think it's about finding a way that we can work together. And you can't hate men into loving women. Do you really believe okay. that? Let's get short answers from everybody if we can. What's the question again? Sorry. Uh, what what, what's like... No, we already did that one. Oh. How feminism <laughs> like has... A positive, oh, how it's improved oh, yeah. how it's my posi- life? Or like... Has been positive for society? For oh, okay. You, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I personally think it's good that everyone can vote. Well, everyone that's like not a felon or whatever the other reasons you wouldn't be able to vote are. But okay. I think that equal rights are good. <laughs> Look at the drastic shift the country has experienced in the last couple of weeks mm-hmm. since yeah. Biden dropped out and Kamala took over. I mean, the hope is insane. I, I can feel the hope everywhere. Um, seeing a woman, and particularly a woman of color, actually being able to raise that astronomical amount of money so quickly and seeing that people do. The hope is infectious and it's changing society in a really positive way. I honestly think I haven't felt this light and joyful in quite a while. Is so. it is it because she's a woman or because she's a person of color? It's I think it's both. I think it's both. Yeah. But I mean I I do I mean and I mean this Does in the, it, the kindest way, but it breaks my heart that there are women that think that so lowly of ourselves that we shouldn't be able to make decisions in this country. The fact that like Kamala's I mean listen to her speak like she, she's like she's so much more intelligent and Words what? Um, Words Oh, no. Yeah, she is. And so, and I totally, and as a feminist, I respect your ability yeah. to be able to laugh at me like that. I'm not because at you. I'm not I, at you. Uh, I mean, it breaks my heart yes, that I you, <laughs> it breaks my heart you feel that you don't.